Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is the RS-97 made by Cool Boy or Cool Baby. We are going to be running the PlayStation emulator that is available on a bunch of different firmwares. The firmware that I'm using is a custom firmware called Useless97. This is 1.3 of it. Pretty much the only thing that I recommend at this point. Uh, while we can use .pbb format, I don't really recommend it as it doesn't support save states. Uh, at least as far as I've tried, and I have had zero success getting any of them to work. So even though you can see I have a save state there, if I try to load it, nothing happens. So we'll just have to go ahead and just load the game proper. Um, let me go ahead and just cut ahead to that. All right, so we are running this, and this is the US version, obviously. As you can see up here in the diagnostics, we have 60 frames a second. Oh, what the? Oh, it caught me. It's like, what the? I'm trying to play this through my viewfinder. So Heart of Darkness does run very, very well. Off me. Off me. You can see that CPU usage is pretty low. A lot of 2D games do run really well on this PlayStation emulator. And again, uh, because PlayStation is going to be pretty much the height of what we're going to be running on, on this type of platform on the RS-97, it's going to you know stress it a bunch. Run so well. All right, that's enough frying these guys. Let's go ahead and quit out of that. We'll go ahead and run Spyro. This is the European version, and it's in bin format, which will allow us to load the save state that we need. So we'll go ahead and not swap CD. Uh, to get into the menu, you want to hold select, and while holding select, press start. We'll go ahead and load this save state. And you'll see that CPU usage is now going to be pegged at 100% and will not even barely hit 50 frames a second, even though um, the PAL version will only need, require getting up to 50 frames. And this is really just on the cusp of not being playable, which is unfortunate. Um, not a huge Spiral fan as it is, but I mean, in terms of... Um, just being there, almost being able to have a playable system of PlayStation almost in its entirety. Because there are a lot of games that don't really run that very well. Um, Tony Hawk doesn't run well at all, even if it's the European version. Um, but I just wanted to show you this, that it's this is one game that is just there. Just almost playable. It's not terrible, but it, it, is, it, it is slightly annoying uh, with not having uh, a perfectly smooth game. And while I will be having a fully featured review of the RS-97, I'll be touching on some different emulators. I kind of wanted to do a video of PlayStation emulation by itself, just so that people can have a better understanding of what is going to be playable on this system. Let's go ahead into Symphony of the Night, which plays very well. Let it load, and then we'll load the save state. And again, this is the PAL version. You can see that CPU is at 100%, but we are hitting um, full frame rate. Steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same 
could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Anyway, so that that runs. Let's go ahead and quit out of this. Let's go and hood and load up Tony Hawk. This is also Europe and a bin format, so we will be able to just jump straight into a safe state that I have. All right, almost. There we go. State. You know, let me uh, let me lower that just so that I don't get flagged for some nonsense. Ugh. Anyway, we can see that 100% CPU usage, and it's not as bad. Uh, it's a little bit worse than Spyro, but we're almost there. Um, so there is still development that is happening on the RS-97. Uh, I'll be uh, a little bit slow. There aren't a whole bunch of devs looking at this platform, but it is an interesting platform, and it's surprising how well things are running already. Um, hopefully, when, if and when things get a little bit more sorted out, like proper LCD stuff, but that, again, is another problem because they constantly use different LCDs, um, and right now we are also not even using the GPU on board of the SOC, so this is all just from the CPU cores themselves, I am, as I am aware. Vagrant Story does run really well, surprisingly. And this is the PPP, PBP format. So again, we won't have, if we go to load state, this will fail. This won't do squat for us. So I'll go ahead and let me just jump ahead. Alrighty, here we are. And you can see that we're running at 60, 60 frames a second, dropping down a little bit. This game's kind of dark, so we'll just try to get a, a little bit closer. Still quite super playable. Especially because it's a turn-based game. Kind of a, a little bit more forgiving when it doesn't hit perfectly 60 frames a second, but it does does a decent enough job. So this runs really well. Let's go ahead and load up another game. Uh, Heart of Darkness, Mega Man X6. And again, this is the PBB format, so we can't support save states. Did it just crash? I think it just crashed. <laughs> again, that's um, that's few and far between that that happens, but again, it does happen every now and again on this platform. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's uh, PlayStation emulation on. Oh no, it just got hung up like crazy. 
In any event, this is PlayStation emulation on the RS-97. It's kind of working. Not every game works perfectly. Oddworld does work as well. Most of these games that I have in, on here are games that work well. Um, so this is um, the exception of games, not the rule. A lot of games don't run all that great. Um, but it's still early days yet. Um, I don't know if we'll ever see perfect emulation for PlayStation, but uh, the RS-97 is a pretty interesting platform. I'll be doing a full review and touching, taking a look at a few other uh, games and emulators and how well they run and a total review later on. But anyway, this is some PlayStation emulation on useless 97 1.3 on the RS-97. Thank you so much for watching.